today is a good day today's the first day in such a long time that i feel like i've actually got a vision i've got an idea of what lies ahead and where i want to go and what i want to do in fact sky is the limit baby ever since yesterday we took down the spirit guardian which means both guardians have been conquered which means we have finally got access to the spirit and chaos orbs that will allow us to tame whatever spirit or chaos dinosaurs we like which means today we have a bit of a blank canvas we already have a spirit orphan crafted from yesterday we can pretty much go and tame any spirit and dinosaur we like there is just one thing there's something else out there in the wild that lies out there it's a little it's not so much white like a spirit dinosaur it's not, not really black or red like a chaos dinosaur however it does have my interest and i did say yesterday i want to tame this thing up and i'm a little worried that it's going to face a similar fate to the therizinosaur that i missed out on taming a couple days ago basically i might turn my attention instead towards the skeletonized t-rex yeah that big old purple glowing mass of work i'm just I like, I, I kind of want it. I really want it. I've seen ever since I saw it, ever since I realized it's a thing, I needed it in my life. And, uh, well, basically, we now kind of have everything that we need to get it. Actually, no, we don't. We still need to take down the emperor again, which I can do. I'm pretty sure I can do that quite easily these days. I think. I'm not actually certain on that one there. I'm pretty sure I could take it down if I need to. Uh, but basically, to get this thing crafted, we need bone meal. Uh, bone meal looks like this. I'm pretty sure we get everything except for some kibble which i can get um as well as a celestial emperor soul and that's all it takes we can get ourselves a skeletonized rex now the reason i'm so interested in the skeleton oh it's just the one as well that makes it even more <laughs> difficult it's such a high level it's it's small i know it's small a really big one would have been really cool but still i have no idea about the capabilities of this this thing i've never i've never tamed one i've never ridden one i don't know how much damage it can do what if it's stronger than any of our other dinosaurs what if it puts all of these guys to shame including my demonic reaper empress who is still living down the mountain because it doesn't fit anywhere else and fell out of my base i think the answer is clear we gotta we gotta get ourselves a skeleton rex but like i said we got a little bit of work to do to Towards this and unfortunately that means we're going to take down some origin dinosaurs i think as well as the indominus rex empress one more time so where oh where doth well how do we find, find out about this what are we actually missing let's have a look so to take this down we are oh, man, five of them the rex the raptor the kairuku the kano the argy you know what? It might be easier for us to just get a Chaos Dinosaur and hope that the skeletonized T-Rex survives another day. You know what? I've got the Spirit Orb. Should we have a little search and see what's out? You know what? I can't believe how quickly I just backflipped on my own, like, intuition. So let's see what we can actually find, eh? Let me go and check out little creature find Lux and find out what spirit dinosaurs lie out there in the wild. Lots of giant bees, but unfortunately, none that are high enough level. I am actually interested in taming one of these eventually. I just... I'm, if we can get like a really high level one, it'd be pretty sweet. A lot of spirit dodos. No interest in any of those. Spirit spino. A very nice... A spirit manticore. And a thylacolio, but that's quite low level. Okay, spino and manticore definitely have my attention. They're both pretty close to one another. All right. I'm going to go pay them both the visit if that... Oh, I know where this is. I don't know if I can get down there. That's going to be a tricky one. Okay, you guys will understand soon. Don't you worry. Now, to do this, we obviously are missing a few little vital ingredients. We need a means to knock these things out. So, let me go ahead and turn our blood into some narcotics. And then, in turn, to some arrows. They're going to help us knock some things out today. Um, on top of that, if I want a Chaos Orb... Oh, we can do it! We can do it! Do we do it? Ah, that's actually a tough call. Um, um, okay. Oh, look, let's just focus on spirit for now. Let's just focus on the spirits and see what's out there. And then we'll come back and we'll revisit if we want to go for a Chaos. Let's do this thing. So, um, I'm going to tell... A, wait, do I even need to? It's literally that mountain right there. And yep. That's the problem I thought. As you can see, it's pointing towards the mountain, but it's definitely not pointing towards the base of that mountain. It's pointing beneath the mountain, inside of the mountain, inside the cave beneath this mountain, which means we have to go cave diving if we are to want to find the spirit spino. And um, caves can be kind of funky sometimes. But while we're over here, 
So we go and visit. The, let's go visit the Spirit Man's core, and we'll come back to this guy. It's also a celestial RG right there too. Hey, buddy. No, no, no. Go away, you. Um. Okay, level 200. Nothing too special. All right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set a remote teleportation spot. What is that above us? Uh, back to base. That way we can teleport back to this spot to save us some time on the way back. Um, that is an alpha lightning wyvern that I have no interest in fighting, so I'm going to ignore it. However, poor little Celestial Argy here just he, was just... he was just sitting there, primed for the picking. It's a free Celestial Soul at the end of the day. Fire Griffin. All right, we don't need no Fire Griffins. Something be breathing fire down there, though. Oh, it was a dragon down there. That's what it was. All right. There's a few manticores on this mountain by the looks of it. We've got this one here. It's just a regular old manticore. And then above it, it's it's hiding in the, in the clouds a little bit. That thing is expensive. But look how strong it would be. Like 10 spirit boss kibble has 19 million health. And it's tameable like that. Um, just for perspective on what that'll cost to tame up. 10 of these. So 650 boss essence, a lot of eggs. That's fair enough. Uh, 10 spirit orbs, 10 of them. That's actually not that expensive and 10 artifacts, but a thousand prime meat jerky. You know what? I could save. I. All right, we'll come back to, we'll revisit this one day. We might be able to get that at some stage. That's some stage though is uh, it's not, it's not right this second. Okay. I'm going to put that on the back burner because I can't afford that yet. But with a bit of grinding, it may be possible. Back to the Spino anyways. Uh, so the entrance to this cave, I believe, is just down here by this swamp. I think I've only been in there once or twice over the few times I have played on this map. And I think this is the entrance right here. It looks pretty entrancey to me. The question is, one, can I fly my RG into it? Two, will it fit? And three, well, can I, can I fly or is it going to boo me? Because that's the part I'm a little nervous about but so far so good i think we're all right i think we're in have a look at this it's a roll rat falling from the sky actually oh we got aberrant spinos that look absolutely beautiful um if i can get some red gems in here i, well, I would love a glider suit soon okay the spirits the spino is definitely on the other side of this cave there's a lot of creatures in here but nothing too crazy there's some alpha dinosaurs there's some parasaurs some roll rats and alpha carcanos down there cool runies but hold on there's a chaos spino as well hey oh we're gonna chaos and a spirits and a celestial spino too oh and a apex too there's like one of every variety out here okay well look that needs to be dealt with this one over here so i'm gonna deal with it I'm gonna get some free loot. Happy days. Um, I don't know where the spirit spino is, but apparently. Wait, what is this? An aberrant alpha otter? Why is it sparkly? Because <gasps> it's being affected by the spirit dinosaur. I don't know anything about spirit dinosaurs. What does that even mean? Either way, it's kind of stuck under. I don't know. I gotta. I have no idea how to check that out. Um, all right. Well, I'm gonna just clear out some some potential threats in the area because you know you don't want to i don't know i just don't want to be dealing with those things right this second and now i'm gonna work out a way to get this guy something just powered up oh, here he is i can see his tail dude this is gonna be impossible to hit unless i can maybe nibble it to like lure it out but it's it's in there can you come out of the rock please i right, gotta be careful if i, I don't want to touch the water but uh, let's see if we can do a bit of this action. <laughs> it's in there. What's he doing down there, though? Buddy. I just, I don't want to do anything to... Wait, can I drop that attack? Hold on. I, 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 this one. Yes. Come on. Surely that's enough to get you angry, right? Aha. Uh -huh. It's moving. Get back, get back, get back. Okay. All right. We've angered it. But I, I, I think it's still stuck in there. That's a problem. Buddy, can you come out? I just, I need, I need access to your hitbox. That's better. But I don't want to waste, I like, I don't think that's worth wasting an arrow on just yet. Come on. Come on. Come on, let's get you out. Yes! Success! Okay, okay, okay. Okay, moment of truth. No, where are you going? Do not fall into the ground. 
Stop, 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 stop. Oh, I'm not taking this shot. I, these arrows are too expensive. I can't just waste one like that. Um, We do got to get this guy out of there, though. Come on. You hit me. You damaged me. Out, 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 out. Yes. Okay, that's good. Surely that's good. Right? It was good. All right. Okay, we've hit it. It's angry and it's fast. I just need to make sure it doesn't re-enter the mountain and we should be good. If I land here, I might even be able to anger it. And he might come over and try and give us a nibble. He wants to. Oh, yeah. Oh, is he falling into the ground or is he just falling into the water? I'm, I actually don't know. I actually have no idea. Because I got to now somehow find its body. <gasps> Another Chaos Spino just spawned? What? Okay. All right, I'm going to go deal with this now, too. All right, one second. Again. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. All right. All right, I got to deal with this. Dude, there's too many, like, just threat level dinosaurs in the area. And good news, though. My dude over here is asleep. Um, I really want, like, a... I want a flyer of this here. No. No. Hold on. That's a primal tech parasaur. Um, I gotta pick that up. Can I? Oh, what is he even doing there? That's bad. They do a lot of damage. And I can't pick it up. No. Um, all right, I need to like get it away from the spider. Maybe that's the reason the spider got stuck. Come on, parasaur. Can't even see the darn thing. But he's there. He's right there. I just don't want him to attack. He's stuck. Surely he's stuck. I don't even know what he's trying to do. I don't want him to attack anything. Um, I might be good to land. I'm going to whistle passive. I'm just going to try and just not bother it. All right. I'm just going to drop that in there. <laughs> and we've got it, baby. We've got it. All right. We've tamed a spirit spider. It's, it, it disappeared. I guess it's underground or something. I don't know. It's there, though. Um, now I just need to work out a way to get it. Also, apparently there's a windstorm down in this cave. Don't ask me how that works, but it, it, it's a thing. All right, buddy. Let's get you inside of a bowl. Can I soul orb you? Yes. All right, we've got it. Uh, and I guess our job down here is done. Let's head back up. <laughs> and we can settle this thing up and see what it can do for us. Oh, this is special. Oh, this is something spectacular. Fantastic. Now, the downside is, unfortunately, this windstorm is going to exist until I re-log into the world. That's a little bit annoying. So, I'm going to re-log right this second. All right, let's get this thing a saddle. And as you can see, the storm has dissipated. So, that is just fantastic news. Now, Spino, Spirit Spino Saddle. Yep. One celestial soul, a bit of blood, a bit of polymer, easy peasy, a lemon squidge air. 125 armor on this thing. The question is, where do we want to go and test drive this bad boy? So we just like, right in the base? And then just like, oh, okay, apparently it can't fit here. Also, I forgot to look for gems in the cave. I just realized I really, I was meant to go gem, gem hunt. Oh, wow, wow. The reaper tail reaches all the way over here. I never realized that I could just run off of this spot. Um, just run into my reaper tail. Uh, that's not a, yeah. Oh, okay. I wasn't meant to jump off of that. <laughs> I was more just pointing out that that is a dangerous fall. Not that I want to jump down the dangerous fall. Anyways, uh, I guess that's our new way out of the base when I want to just exit in a hurry. So, saddle my dude up. Let's go and see what he's made of. You know what we could do? I mean, why, why, why bother? Why bother wasting time? Let's head straight up to the usual location. It is time to take on a few little dudes who just love to be slain by me. Um, 300,000 base damage. Yes. That is amazing. Um, what else have I got in my, in my repertoire? Oh, we can stand up. Oh, <gasps> okay. That means when my guy has water abilities, he can be even stronger again. The only downside that I'm feeling so far out of my dude here is that, um, like a little bit, uh, I was going to say a little bit janky on the movements, but I just might be imagining that. So let's take him down and uh on the way down so he's got 9.3 million health we'll just drop him some levels and stuff as we go 
that's straight to 20 million dude this thing's gonna be good all right and i don't know if he's gonna take four damage so i'm gonna dismount just to be safe however there is a primal dinosaur nearby i heard the music for it that would be an amazing test dummy to see what this guy's made of um okay so that's third that's that's, that's like 60 levels and we've got him to 30 million health dude this thing might be a beast okay i'm pumped all of a sudden uh we still have the option to imprint it as well and that's that's just insane when i start thinking about that so for now let's just uh crank up the melee damage and then yeah you know what? i'll put all these into melee damage and then he's gonna gain more levels as he goes so then we can like see what comes next for him then now does he have he does have hydration buff which means he deals 730,000 damage what um and we haven't even tested out like his strong abilities yet dude this thing's gonna be ridiculous <laughs> oh how did i not think about taming one of these earlier i mean not that we could this is like the absolute soonest we ever could uh moves around pretty well in water too i won't lie i just i need to find a nice origin slash prime water rick really test him against hello how you doing where did you come from buffoon like pluridon i want to tame one of you still but i guess we're here to fight aren't we we're not we're not here to be friends um uh, i gotta be careful i'm really low on health uh look if i gotta heal i will but all right see you buddy i don't know how much health you had but ciao ciao for now let's get you healed up uh yep cool all right so where should we go to put this dude to the test maybe what i'll do is have a quick little search to see if there's any origins in the area like i said we do need to take down some origin dinosaurs to uh oh he's got the poop he's doing the poops <laughs> we do need to take down some origin dinosaurs uh to then fight the the emperor once again to then uh, craft the bone meal for the skeletonized t-rex so we do need to do this there's an origin raptor over there there is an origin rg over there that's in the snow area no it's not this is the snow area the snow area is full of them Ooh! all right let's go to the snow i think that is the logical choice in fact we'll just teleport straight over there because we got the obelisk let's head straight to it let's do this thing so uh i mean i'm not in a rush to start with the rg i assume there's some kairuku over here there just always is there's always a kairuku or two it's just amazing it's the best place to just farm origin dinosaurs but let's just double check and see what's around so we've got megalodon another megalodon damn it they're, they're all megalodons one kairuku and then i guarantee there's like two okay an rg and a die bear yep that's what i probably would have guessed rgs die bears and penguins out here well i'm going to run across the snow and i'm gonna go see what we can do especially because the kairuku is an amazing little just punching bag not as good as a rex or a spino the rex and spino are great because they're such big targets um but still it's gonna be a, a nice target there it is all right we've got his attention i just want to touch some water so we can get full-blown crazy speed damage all the rest of it buffs we're nice and hydrated and i'm stuck underwater not ideal because i want to get back on land now and we should be dealing full maximum damage for the next 30 seconds but he's also underwater um we also got some special abilities up our sleeve that we need to put to the test so let's see what they can do for us there we go there we go now we're talking now we are talking dude that's like 100 million damage already look at it go yes oh my goodness dude that was special they're still exploding okay all right yes all right the spirit spider oh this oh i'm so pumped oh the torture was worth it all the trouble we've gone through over the past week with the spirit guardian was so worth it and it looks like we have another target just over here all right let's head over have a look is this the oh no wait that's leading me to the megalodon i would like um not the megalodon i don't care about the megalodons i want the rg or the die bear who want that i can't even damage a megalodon i'm pretty sure they can only receive full damage from water dinosaurs and technically a spino despite being kind of a water dinosaur doesn't really count so rg and die bear all right that's going to take me directly to them so they're over in 
that direction, I suppose. All right, we can swim there. Making sure, of course, to pick up our hydration buff along the way and getting stuck on the edge of the water for some reason too. All right, RG, I'm targeting you first, apparently. Why? I don't know. But let's see what we can do here, hey? Let's see. I feel so... I know that I feel bad, but... All right, just can stand right in the middle of all of that. Stand right in the center of it. There we go. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Ah, uh, it's so good. Oh, I want to drop this on someone important. I think we might have a new strongest dinosaur. I don't know. This feels stronger than the Rex. It feels more... I can drop this attack a lot more frequently. I, no, actually, the Rex can kind of spam fire. I don't know. It might be better than the Rex, though. It's easy to use, and I think that comes down to the size of it. It's small, compact, just drops bombs all in one location, and just like that... The origin RG is, is, is conquered. Dude, I, I, <laughs> I have one more needs to be said. Now, there is still the matter of the origin diabear over here. Not to mention, we still have a lot of levels up our sleeve. So, you know what? Let me go and take my guy up a little bit higher, just in case we do come across some superior targets. That gets us pretty close to 40 million health. Now, let's go and melt the living daylights out of this dude over here too. It's also that, uh, but that doesn't matter. All right, let's go. Yeah, that's pretty worthless attack, that other one. That on the other hand, woo, baby. There we go. Yeah, this might be the best DPS dinosaur we have yet. It's, look, that's 200 million damage already. That's 300 million damage just about. There it is, 300 million damage. He's stuck against a rock. This is like, it's basically the spirit attack that just kept annihilating us against the spirit guardian. And just like that, we have dealt over half a billion damage <laughs> in what was that, like 20 seconds tops? We haven't even reached our full potential here. I think that's the most exciting part. Like I, I need something stronger to really test this against. Um, Just like, where's the limit? All right. If there's a, I don't even know, like we're reaching the upper echelon, at least for now. As soon as we start fighting tier five dinosaurs, it's it, the tables will turn against us again. I know that that is for certain. These raptors are pretty pesky to fight. I'm just trying to see if there's any easy to reach ones. This one is pretty easy to get to. Um, who be knocking me around right this second? All right, let's head over to the terminal. And uh, I'm going to... Oh, I'm going to get knocked out of it. Nope, we're good. And I... Oh, hello. How are you doing? All right. Don't know who's blowing things up, but... I'm not not about that today. Wait, there's a... Wait. Oh, never mind. It was just a spino, I think. Uh, That was a... Ca oh, it's a Chaos Drone Bee. Yeah, no thanks. <gasps> Artifacto! All right. Change of, change of course for a second. I need those free artifacts. Dude, I can't believe how many artifactos we're finding recently. We found three in a row the other day. And, well, there's another one right here. Uh, actually, I've got to be careful because these guys, I think, do cause trouble if given the opportunity. So I'll just finish it off with my big old mega spirit bomb. Harnessing the power of Goku himself. Am I going to... Uh, man, I should just call this thing Goku. Goku the Spino. Doesn't really have a good ring to it, though, doesn't it? All right, let me just wipe out this forest because I'm having a little bit of trouble navigating it. Urgh. There we go. All right, nice. Hello, friend. You better be the quickest and easiest Origin Raptor I've ever taken down because Origin Raptors can be a little bit of a pain in the butt sometimes, especially because all my dinosaurs are supersized and you're just so small that you get stuck between my feet. But clearly, that's not the case anymore because you're dead. <laughs> oh, this is stupidity. This is stupidity. Like, I can legit head up back to base right this second. I can find out what origin tributes. We I can fall from my base, I guess? No, no, no. You meant to you meant to you meant to be in my base. What are we doing down here? Can we try that again? Mmm, not quite. What's happening? Why am I down here? We might need some different teleporters around the base. 
Because <laughs> this platform can only fit like certain dinosaurs on it. Or do I try one last time? Because I kind of like... All right, I'll just grapple. Um, here's the thing. I also want to... No, can't do that. Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. I don't know. Maybe it's some janky visual bugs or something. Uh, basically, I wanted to grab all the items off of its back, transfer them to cap here, and then run them into the little drop-off point, which then transferred something like 29,000 items into it. Don't know what those items were, but they're in there. And then we still got all of this. This is basically how I control my items now. And then I grab the rest and I drop them all in here. Because they're generally all items we don't even need anymore. And lots of blueprints too. And then I just salvage. And then I just cross my fingers and hope that I didn't break anything I wasn't meant to. Like origin armor. Yeah, you can't get resources from origin armor. You just get broken pieces of origin armor. <laughs> so um, we'll just go and drop all of that. And I'll go through all of this at a later date. Okay, so what do I need? We've got tributes, 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 tributes. We've got souls. i got other stuff on me too. But if I do want to fight my Empress, I need a Rex and a Kano tribute. Well, let's make things short and sharp. Let's go ahead. Despite these guys, I'm pretty sure existing in the wild. Let's just, uh, let's just craft up their respective things. And we'll go do it the old-fashioned way. And I go and break all this stuff down as well. Because why not? It's free resources at the end of the day. Okay, origin, origin. If I take these two down successfully, we will get ourselves the Emperor's Soul, which means we can get the Bone Meal, which means essentially uh, we will be qualified. Oh, how am I going to get on top of you? Just like that, I suppose. We'll be qualified to get us a skeletonized T-Rex next. Also, wow, as if that Dodo Wyvern down the bottom there is like loaded in. Okay, some of these dinosaurs are like just outside of loading range. What kind of... It's an Apex Phoenix. That Apex Phoenix looks crazy cool though. Anyways, I'm going to start like fawning over wild dinosaurs that may fly into my base and be pains in my buttocks. And we're going to... um. Well, I'm going to just go and demolish two more origin dinosaurs because I'm having so much fun with it. But not before I get a little bit more water buff. And then I go and kill... This is just regular old alpha cardo over here. And then we summon these suckers in. And then we blast them to smithereens. Wrong attack, wrong attack. Keep dropping the wrong attack. Much better. <laughs> ah, I'm addicted to power, baby. I'm addicted to power. Give it all to me. That can never be too much. That can never be too much. Sorry, alpha otter. I didn't mean for you to get caught up in this mess. Oh, our baby dino pithecus as well. I don't even know what I'm fighting right now, but it's dying and that's all that matters. I don't know who's going to die. Oh, the Rex is going to outlive the Kano. I don't think either of them are like directly in target either. So I think like, I don't think it's like the, I, oh, I could touch water. Hold on and do more damage. Yes, do more damage then. Just more damage. I'm obsessed with dealing damage. If you haven't worked that out about me yet, game, do you even know me? The Rex is down. Somehow the Kano is still alive. Just chilling in the water, buddy. Silly move. Big mistake. Monstrosity of a mistake, mate. Do not be sitting in the water, you silly goose. Let's just watch the remainder of that 150 million health just vanish into thin air. And uh, there we go. All right. Fantastic. Okay. So... We now have everything we need, including a Dodo Wyvern flying up to our base. That I could easily do without, uh, but it's just part of the part of the fun, I suppose. What can I say? Um, okay, you know what? I'm gonna pick my dude up. Despite there being explosions going off nearby, I'm a little bit nervous about that. Also, there's a Dodo Wyvern coming down. He could probably smell me, but at least he's not up here in the base. We're going to take our little tributes and I'm going to craft up the Indominus Rex. And then, uh, hey, if all goes according to plan, well, we can get ourselves that bone meal. The summoner is in our possession. Or at least now it is. And uh, tomorrow, we're going to fight it. <laughs> yeah, we're not doing that today. We're going to do it tomorrow. We're going to get us that bone meal and we're going to craft up the skeletonized Rex at last. So guys, tune in tomorrow. It's going to be a fun one.
Bye for now.